not a lot of videos. We moved. This is the new garage. I don't know if we're going to have a video before. More space. Look at all the space. Less clutter. We got rid of a lot of our wheels, sadly. But, you know, all good things come to an end. Speaking of all good things coming to an end, this is a farewell video. Uh, farewell to Issa Camry. Sad, but it has to happen. Um, it's just not the right time right now for me to have a 240. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if I mentioned the other videos about having to study for medical school boards and all that stuff. Um, sadly, I didn't pass the first time. Not super uncommon. 20% of my class didn't pass, but uh, enough of that. Long story short, the way my schedule worked out is this month and last month were supposed to be months of building 240, working on the 240, sliding it. Um, but it just, now I gotta like, I gotta hit the books, I need less distractions. The 240 was great, but it was so great that it was always a distraction. I was always looking at parts, always like, like, hey, Jared, dude, these side skirts, like, 50 bucks, let's go get them. And we drive, like, an hour to get it, and it, everything was just cutting into study time, cutting into study time, and I just spent so much time thinking, daydreaming about 240, daydreaming about, like, mods, you know, we drove to SoCal to get wheels, it built, like, crazy stuff like that just ultimately was just a huge distraction. Um, so that's one of the main reasons, so I listed it for sale. Um, after I listed it for sale, our good friend, Baby Dick Mike, you guys have seen him in our vids. Uh, links to vids with Baby Dick Mike here, here, and here, maybe. I don't know, Jer. <laughs> but uh, I let him borrow it because he, he got a G35. His G35 kind of blew up. He needed a car. I was like, yeah, take the 240. Um, only thing I ask is you get an alignment, get wheel locks, get a clutch pedal lock. So he was going to get it on a Friday, like two days after I gave him the car, and then that night, the car got stolen. No joke, car got boosted, and at that point I was just like at a loss. I didn't know what to do, like, I never had a car stolen from me, and you know, thank you to everybody in the community, like local Bay Area, friends, everybody who's into cars, who shared my uh, stolen post. Um, really appreciate it, guys, because amazingly, two days later, the cops found it, just abandoned somewhere. Car legit got stolen, like, that's the marks from the the uh, tow yard um, two days after it was stolen got recovered um, but damage wise it wasn't bad they only rolled down the windows and got frustrated I guess um, I don't know how well you can see it but they basically destroyed the driver's side window panel like completely destroyed it and then they put this window down and we cannot roll this window up like there's no power to this side um, they took the shift knob they didn't mess up Jer's wheels, which are not on, so there's no point looking at that. They cut the brake lines, or the brake light line, sorry. They, they like, snipped it and, like, took it off to ride dirty, I guess, so no one would see them driving around in a car. I don't know. Um, but that was the extent of the damage. Uh, I got the car back about a week later. Tow truck guy dropped it off right there. And uh, <laughs> I went to turn it on because I checked it out in the tow yard previously, and it just didn't turn. The key felt bad. And the tow truck driver had just told me a story about how he used to like steal cars back in the day. So I was like, hey, maybe you'll have better luck. Try it. Puts the key in, snaps the key off in the ignition. And I was like, well, if it wasn't broken before, it's, it's broken now. Wait for like an ignition cylinder to come, which came in yesterday. And today, Jer and I tried to install the ignition cylinder. Or was that yesterday? That was, that was yesterday. yesterday. That was yesterday. And then I just thought, hmm, you know what? Maybe the battery was just dead. Because I started replaying the scenario in my head and like the hazards didn't turn on. So we jumped the car. And that was the problem. That was it. The car just had a dead battery. So they didn't even like jam a screwdriver in the ignition cylinder and break it. Literally just like left it with everything on or something. Um, but like I said, I was trying to sell it before for all the uh, aforementioned reasons. Glad to have it back. And uh, now there's somebody on their way to come and buy it. So I literally have pink slip in hand, bill of sale, pens ready to go. It's like 10 o'clock on Sunday night. I posted it today. Um, just trying to get some money back, quick sale. Uh, we have S2000 wheels on here, if you didn't notice that. Our good friend Brian, Brian Ma from BM Spec. If you guys need custom arrow or any sort of arrow, track tested design, Brian is the man, BM Spec. He gave us these S2000 wheels, so I don't have to roll on Jer's wheels. Jer actually sold those uh, Volks that were on the car, amazingly. He posted it today, sold it today, right? Yeah. Yeah, quickest sale we've ever dealt with. Um, but right now, yeah, some guy's on his way. He's gonna buy the car. He said he's just he's gonna take it. <laughs> but it's been a it's been a really fun road. Like it's been fun learning how to do things like bodywork, uh, sanding. Like I've never worked with bodywork and bondo and primer and fiberglass and all that. I actually had been starting to part out the 240 uh, before I posted it for sale. Once I knew I had to sell it, so 
like all that body work that we had video on like all those fiberglass kit it's all gone like everything's gone car is on stock suspension now we actually have the pvm coilovers here which sure helped me take off today so those are for sale right now i have no wheels for it no more five zigans no more ssrs like those are all sold those log cabin episodes but we've been just busy moving into our new house organizing our garage which we did the last two days took us all day um but yeah all 240 stuff's gone 240 is about to be gone I did get another car. I guess that'll be another episode. I'm not going to give everything away in this one. But uh, not a project car. Kind of a grown-up car. A car I've always wanted. Um, but like I said, just no time to just fool around building a drift car and drifting, sadly. Not not right now. I'll do it one day. But not not at this point. Um, but yeah, this is this is the end of the road for Issa Camry. It's kind of sad. Jerk kind of wants it, but... He's not in a position to buy it right now, and none of our friends are in a position to buy it, so it's not going to stay in the family, per se. Um, hopefully this new owner will take care of it. There was a guy who was going to come tomorrow and buy it, but he's like, yeah, I'm just looking for a clean shell, so I, I don't know what he had planned. But this guy, he just he just seems to want it. He didn't ask any questions. He's just like, I'm going to come get it, which is what Jer and I like. This is what we do. Pro tip when you're going on Craigslist, don't fuck around. Just, if you know you want it, like, ask the important questions and just come get it. Don't. Don't mess around. Like, if you want something or you're trying to sell something, ASAP. Like, money talks, time talks. No one likes someone like, oh, yeah, maybe they'll come this week. Check it out. No, if you want it, get it. Like, yeah, we hate tire kickers. Hate People that, especially with, like, that, wheels. Yeah. Like, the if worst... you can see the wheels, all right. You can see the wheels. You see pictures. You ask them the specs. You have the specs. There's nothing else to ask. You exactly. can double check if they're not bent or cracked. Don't ask, does it fit my car? What's the offset, even though it's listed? Don't... Don't ask for more pictures if you can clearly see every single wheel in a picture. And, like, why, people always want to look at the barrel like they're going to learn something and that makes a difference. I mean, yeah, sometimes it does, but most of the time people just waste our time. True. Sure. They ask Anything a million bad. questions yeah. and then they, they go blank. They, they go disappear. Blank. They just ghost. They just yeah. ghost you. So so it's, not, have, it's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. If, if you want something, go hit the person up. Go get it. Go don't get it. don't waste people's time. Don't it's so annoying. Don't waste people's time. Exactly. And I made my ad very long. Jers read it. Like, it's very to the point. Pros, cons lists to uh, video links to our other vlogs about the car like dead on nothing out nothing left out so hopefully nobody has any like questions and i even said if you have any questions like read it again <laughs> like i probably answered them all didn't want to sound like a douche but i just don't want people a million people trying to buy like a cheap 240 asking dumb questions like like does it run like is it manual stupid stupid stuff like that thankfully this guy whoever he is he's smart because he knows that i'm smart and we're just trying to sell a car <laughs> Any any remarks, sir? Anything to add to no. the uh, obituary? We're going to miss the 240. It's a Camry. Yeah. We'll definitely get another one yeah, eventually. Yeah, we'll come back stronger. With the Kuki, that doesn't need as much work. <laughs> right? LS Swap Kuki. LS Swap. Yeah, just get it. We, we we said many moons ago before I bought a 240 that, like, if you get a 240, don't do what I did. Don't get an automatic one to manual swap. Make sure you get a really clean one. Start out with a clean platform. What did I do? Got an automatic one. Like, messed up rad support, like, just kind of... I mean, it, overall, don't get us wrong, like, the car's really nice, but there's definitely a lot of, like, kind of janky things that we could be doing without. And just, like, it came primered, so, I mean, if we just had one that was painted off the get-go, it would probably be better, too. So, next time, I'm really hoping to just get, like, a clean, clean S13 or S14 that doesn't need as much work as this does. I mean, I was willing to put in the work, but, again, like, just life happens, and... It's just not the right time to have it, but now I've learned for the next time to come around. Learned a lot of things about 240s, learned a lot about like rear wheel drive cars, working on them, stuff like that. So it's definitely a learning experience. Um, nothing's lost. It's just it's just not the right time, and uh, it's gonna be missed definitely. I'm just my only regret is not being able to like do anything with it, like drive it a lot. I kept not driving it, kept working on it. Like thing, there's always little things. That prevented me from just dailying it because that was kind of the goal was to take miles off my sob and just daily like a stunting s14 and then like street slide corners if i felt like it jerry slid the car right what do you think jerry yeah it was solid it's yeah. hella great um definitely gonna miss this car and like anthony was saying pro tip if you're gonna build a 240 buy one that has like a motor swap fresh paint don't waste your time because yeah, in the, the premium it, I, I know it's difficult it's very tempting to buy something cheap when you have the money but it will be more expensive at the end of the day if you don't buy someone's good project like exactly. i know everyone says avoid projects yes avoid projects but buy completed projects like for 240s or at least completely stock virgin ones i mean this was completely stock and virgin but there were a lot of like little things but again i drove to friggin socal picked it up and like just took a massive gamble which in retrospect i don't know if i would do again but I may or may not have done the same thing with my new car, so we'll have to find out another episode. <laughs> and with that, guys, like, subscribe. 
Um, tell us your favorite fondest memories with the 240. I'm just kidding, no one cares. But anyway, Ryan like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.